Hello, I'm RFX Mars, and I uh, stumbled across an article which shows what the journalists think of tyrants like Fidel Castro. Um, Fidel Castro died late Friday night, was a tyrant and oppressed Cubans and brought misery to for many decades several decades, and while much of the breaking news coverage emphasized the reality, journalists on ABC, CNN, MS, NBC, imagining, imagining how too much of the media approached Castro for decades, couldn't resist crediting him for supposed great advancements in liter education, literacy, and health care. On MSNBC, Andrea Mitchell insisted in the stock pilot, Castro gave his people better health care and education. Better than what? A caveman? Hearing right by phone, she soon trumpeted how Castro would be revered for education and social services and medical care for all his people. Unbelievable. Along a similar theme, an AB special report during Nightline, Jim Avila managed maintain that even Castro's critics praised his advances in healthcare and in education. Uh, excuse me, you don't speak for me, you idiot. That is bullshit. In a relatively tough report on Castro's abuses, CNN's Martin Savage and pre recorded by a piece. Highlighted how many saw positives, education, and health care for all social, for all racial integration. In a relatively tough report on Castro's abuses, CNN's Martin Savage son pre reported Lab Peace highlighted how many saw positives, education, and health for all racial integration. Unbelievable. ABC's a, a meandering Bill, Brian Williams popped up by phone to ruminate and recalled his last view visit in 2015. You see the medicine system they are very proud of. No, you saw the uh, hospitals for the elites. <laughs> Not for the people, idiot. ABC's a villain went so far as to tout how Castro was considered, even to this day, the George Washington of his country among those who remain in Cuba. You're out of your mind. This is a nutcase. Uh, Mr. Avila, sir, <laughs> you, uh, your elevator doesn't go anywhere near the top floor. Reminiscing about his high school years uh, via phone on MSNBC, Chris Matthews, Sir De Castro, was a romantic figure when he came to power, and Matthews wasn't embarrassed to relate. We really like mad for this guy who was almost a folk hero to most of us. That's Chris Matthews on MSNBC. Uh, this says it all. I mean... These idiots... Uh... These are the support communism and they hate freedom and everything, all the benefits of freedom. They just basically hate it. And this is your proof. I mean, these morons in the press, how do they, how do they even get these jobs? And they're flat out communists. They are on a mission. You know, they support a communist tyrant, tyrant named Castro. 
comparing him to George Washington and stuff. That's unbelievable. I don't know how this happens. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, that's our mental disorder of liberalism update. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.